Hi YouTube. That was my best uh, Jonathan Walk impersonation or impression. Again, here I am. Sorry for the lack of videos lately in the past three or four months. Um, <clears throat> but I got home today. It's actually lunch time. So this video may not go up till this evening or who knows when. I filmed another Yabo, I don't know, a couple months ago from uh, Silver Shadow and I could never figure out how to get it uploaded. But I'll try my best with this one and I'll try to get the Silver Shadow Yabo up too. Um, so if you see this, Silver Shadow, man, <laughs> I'm going to get it up. You deserve that because you're a cool guy. But anyway, um, just a quick reminder. Some of you have seen... Uh, Big Trappy's 200 sub video. Pretty cool idea. Just do an impersonation of myself and him. <laughs> Acting like a bunch of fools. So, anyway, he's giving a cool Savinelli pipe away. But, uh, anyway, back to the purpose of this video. I got home today. I am actually um, left my plant. I'm going to another plant. And I decided to come home and uh, eat some lunch right quick. And I had this sitting on the kitchen table. From Mike Miller. Most of you know him as Duke Avan. <clears throat> Mike and I have corresponded and talked and hung out, and he's a very, very cool guy. Um, I was actually at the Upstate Pipe Society meeting this past weekend or, or last weekend, and we were Skyping, or no, actually, uh, Joffrey the Giant had a live YouTube meeting session set up, and uh, Mike was commenting on a few of uh, he commented a few times and he said that uh, I had a package on the way and it was you know out of the blue I wasn't expecting anything but here it is and I'm so pumped to open it and I, I was gonna wait till this evening when I got home from work and do it but you know I was just I'm too inquisitive I gotta figure out what it is so I'm gonna open this bad boy right quick and share it with you guys Mike I really do appreciate it man you I don't I don't know what it is I don't know what the occasion is but other than you are a cool guy and uh, so I'm going to open it and uh, see if I can get the video to upload to YouTube so um, the rest of the community can uh, enjoy it with me. Like I said, I, I had no idea this was coming. I don't know what it is. Um, unsolicited, if you will. But I am very much appreciative. Well, first of all, it smells good and it looks good. Let's see here. Let me move this out of the way. This is 5100 Red Cake. Never had it. Pump to try it. I'll, I'll go ahead and smell it. There's a lot of them in here. I'm not going to smell all of them, but I'm curious what this one smells like. Oh, it's got like a, almost like a whiskey note to it. I don't know. Smells interesting though. Oh, Cornell and Deal, Briar Fox. You know, it's it's weird. I went to a a, 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 a tobacconist up in Greens Greensboro, North Carolina, a few weeks ago, and um, I saw something that I hardly ever see, and that is a rack full of Cornell and Deal tins. You know, stuff that's hard to get or. Probably why it's hard to get online is because that, that tobacconist that I visited uh, had bought all of them up and put them on their shelves. So I didn't get any, but uh, looking back now, I kind of wish I had. <clears throat> but that's something you don't see all the time. 400 Flake. Looks good. Man, I, I am, <laughs> I'm astounded. I don't know what to say. Oh boy, Mike special. Moon dust. I've had another one of Mike's blends called um, Gilligan Sneaker, I think is what it was. And it was good. I don't have any left. That's how good it was. LJ Peretti, I think that says Lock Lemon. That's pretty cool. I've, that's something I've never heard of. Never even heard of, uh, you know, I've heard of the name Peretti, but I've never heard of Lock and Lemon. But it's going to be pretty cool to try. There's a lot of cool stuff I've never had before. 
Okay, this is from Strauss, and I'm going to pronounce to, or attempt to pronounce it, Wenceslas, Wenceslas, I don't know. Tell me how to pronounce that, but I've had a bunch of stuff from Strauss up in uh, Cincinnati, and their stuff is off the chain, if you will. Um, especially Blue Chip is one of my favorites from there. And also one of my favorites, Plum Cake from It Berry. That stuff is good. Oh, and three nuns. I almost got some of this uh, the other day. That Matter of fact, the same uh, tobacconist I visited up in Greensboro had 110. I almost got it, but I didn't. But I'm glad I didn't. And here's another Peretti called Midnight. Now, this looks interesting. It's very dark. I mean, I'm going to smell this. That smells really good. Really dark, uh, rich smell to it. I think that might be the first one that I try as I wipe it out of my mustache. And then last but not least, oh, Jermaine's Brown Flake. And if this is unopened, I think it is. Mike, dude, you're a nut. I appreciate this, man. I, I'm on, I thought about you the other day. Uh, I still have a an unopened tin of uh, Three Oaks that you gave to me that was about three or four years old. I can't remember. And I looked at it in my drawer the other day, and I was like, I'm going to crack that open and, and then uh, start smoking it. But here's another op unopened tin you've, you've given me, and uh, I think I'm going to put this in the cellar, and I'm going to open that old tin of Three Oaks and, uh, and uh, start smoking it. <clears throat> Man, I appreciate it. Brown Flake. That's awesome. And we have a note here. Room note. Ha! <laughs> Dave, congrats on your election as president of the UPS Society. That's the Upstate Pipe Society. Please accept these samples as a gift befitting someone of your position. I do, Mike. Thank you. Effective leadership is always a challenge, especially when dealing with subordinates like Big Trappy. You know, I have to uh, wake up on the mornings of our meetings and prepare myself to deal with Big Trappy. I deal with him a lot, too, so it's nothing new. I wish you success in 2014 as you fulfill the duties of your office. Happy smokes, Mike. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you for commenting on our... Um, our ups meeting the other day during the live broadcast. I really appreciate that. All, all of you guys that did, um, that uh, commented during our broadcast. I really appreciate that. And um, unfortunately, some of you saw that uh, the, the guys from Nashville weren't able to make it because of all the snow. Um, yeah, how's that uh, global warming thing working out for you there, Al Gore? Uh, anyway. Uh, I really do appreciate Mike. Thanks for uh, for sending me this. But uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, people from Nashville weren't able to come. But uh, at our meeting in um, March, they're going to come. I can't remember the date, but it's the first Sunday of the month. Uh, they're going to be traveling down. To, there was a group of about six of them, some from Nashville, some from East Tennessee. Um, so look forward to meeting those guys. Mike, if you get a chance to come, I expect you to ride down here. And you know, even if you have to, um, jump on the back of Boontar's truck as he comes, you know, by your house sometime and come down and visit with him. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But I really do appreciate it, Mike. You didn't have to do this, but uh, I really appreciate the fact that you did. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to go back to work and um, earn the paycheck, I reckon. Love you guys. Later.